is Jens Neskor. I am the coordinator of Aquacosm. I was formerly the coordinator of a project called uh, Miso Aqua. That they are both on uh, mesocosm structures, which is experimental facilities that works with entire ecosystems. And what is unique with our new facility is that we are combining marine and fresh water. That was formerly never possible. Now the European Union, the Commission, opened for the possibility of doing this. So we now are integrating these experimental facilities in rivers, lakes, estuaries and the ocean. And as such, we are a unique facility because we are the only facility actually in the world that is uh, having these kind of facilities in all these environments. And we are covering from the Arctic to the Mediterranean. So we are basically covering all the European uh, types of water um, ecosystems. And what is new now is that we are trying to uh, investigate how the systems work very efficiently on a local uh, system and also how that interacts in the entire European area. One of the few systems of facilities that actually are able to forecast what will happen if different um, effects happen in our nature, which is very important for instance, for how do you manage something when you know what could happen in future, it's much easier to manage a freshwater or a marine system than if you have no idea how the ecosystem will actually react to a specific stressor. One of our major aims is to ask the big questions. What if, when we have the uh, and warming of the environment, what effect does that have? Or when the tundra is melting, we get brown water in the Arctic Ocean. It could mean that it gets totally brown, all the bacteria grows, and there's no algae, there's no zooplankton, there's no fisheries. Fisheries is the most important in the Arctic. But we have done experiments showing that when you have this effect, you get bacteria and you get another zooplankton type that still can be eaten by the fish. So it was a case when we can show that although it was a projected enormous catastrophe, we think the effect would be less drastic. So we can show, sometimes we can show that things are maybe not so dangerous as we thought, but sometimes we can also show that things might be much more alarming.